Like my special education professional action network um, project was how to boost virtual student involvement. Um, my name is Misty Noble. I'm from Jackson City School, which is part of the Jackson Independent School District. At the time um, that we came up with these projects, there was the challenge of just being a teacher. We were still dealing, you know, with the pandemic, challenging for servicing students with special needs who actually weren't coming to school. Um, you know, most students have returned to school, but I still had a certain student population that had not. So my question was, how can we help motivate student learning and make sure special education students receive the therapy sessions that they need? Basically, um, I established an eight point check sheet um, to help motivate student learning and make special education students receive, you know, hopefully more therapy sessions that they need um, by positively fostering relationships with parents and students. Um, and basically that check sheet um, included things like understand what it's like at home, having a regular routine, but continue to be flexible, communicate with parents and caregivers, continue to meet sensory and movement needs. You know, while they're at home, of course, they were, you know, sort of stationary and sitting a lot. Offer individual in-person lessons and therapy sessions, make them accountable, um, be patient and understanding, and don't be discouraged and just basically do the best that we could. Using this um, eight point check sheet, which this is another copy, um, what I did was um, we had six regular education teachers that I worked with cooperatively, as well as two other special ed teachers. And um, we all had virtual students on our caseloads that we were having difficulty with. So I sort of included this in the project. They all got this eight point check sheet to try to help them um, foster those positive relationships and then we tried to use these things and incorporate these things into our daily um, dealings with the students and their parents to see if it would make a difference. So basically what I ended up finding is 75% um, of the teachers that use the eight point check sheet um, on the survey that I gave them post using the check sheet, um, they said that it actually did help and they were getting you know more assignments and an increase um, in participation. Um, and then 67%, which basically was two of the three special ed teachers reported in increase in attendance rates for therapy sessions. And now that was like the OT, PT, and SLP. So we had good results there.